Hi, it's Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com. I'm in a soybean field in Tipton County, Indiana on the 17th of August here in 2011. A beautiful soybean field and looking very good. And I'm standing in a soil pit and uh, this had had uh, cereal rye used as a cover crop previous to this uh, soybeans, these soybeans being planted. And what we want to show here is the fact that uh, here 35 up to 40 inches deep, as deep as the pit is, we are finding soybean roots that have followed down the roots of the cereal rye uh, all the way down to close to 40 inches or, or better deep. Which is really amazing considering that in a lot of ground, now this has been no-tilled for some time as well, and here we got uh, soybean nodules here. Got soybean nodules, probably uh, a good 20 inches deep, just ballparking it. And that's pretty amazing considering that in a lot of soils last year, even when they were no-tilled without a cover crop in front of them, would come down somewhere about five inches deep and then go horizontal on us because of the tillage practices and so forth. No cover crop in advance. So here we are with a, a tremendous example with uh, deep nodules on the soybeans, deep roots on the soybeans following down where the cereal root, rye roots had been, and absolutely tremendous soybean crop especially considering how dry it's been the last uh, six weeks. Obviously we've had some moisture during that time, but nevertheless it's been a very dry crop year uh, for us here in the last uh, month and a half. So again, Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com just looking at some absolutely beautiful, beautiful soybean roots and soybeans that are going to be harvested here in 2011. Again, Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com looking at a soybean field in Tipton County, Indiana in August 2011.